my channel. Um, today I'm uh, with Mike and Kaylee from MKMD Exploration and Paranormal and we're at um, RAF Colby Grange um, which is in Lincolnshire and it's a World War II um, airfield. I don't know too much about the airfield, I've not done any research at all, this was like a last minute type of thing that we did, we just came here, it was like a last minute thing. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is, um, I'll show you around. I mean, tonight we're going to be doing a uh, paranormal investigation here. Um, apparently it is haunted, but I'll speak a bit more about that as we're uh, walking around. So yeah, here we are on the uh, lower floor. There's Kaylee. She's uh, got flu at the moment. Best not say it's, she's got a cold because... Uh, she kicked off a mic in the car about that when Mike said that to her. <laughs> I don't want to get a slap. See, on this one, you've got two entrances you've got one on the side and you've got one to the uh, rear. And as with most of these uh, watch officers' control towers, they they're, uh, always seem to be stripped. But it's just a quick walk around to show the area that we're investigating tonight. Mike's just upstairs doing his video, his little walk around video. I think the only thing that's original left in here is part of this old uh, junction box. This is the uh, same design as RF Elvington, or oh, very similar, it looks the same. I think these would have been toilets, toilet areas here. What are you thinking about the place so far, then, Kay? I'm not feeling anything yet. No. Um, hopefully we do capture something tonight. Yeah. Let's make our way upstairs. Just heard Mike. So yeah, I think this is one of the uh, pyro, st pyro stars. There was one on the lower floor in the corner front room. I, I did forget to show you that one. But I believe this was one too. So that'd be for your flares and for signalling um, aircraft that maybe don't have radio connection or whatever. So we're located about two or three miles away from uh, RF Waddington. And these are a couple of uh, aircraft, which I think are Beechcraft, doing touch and goes. And there's one coming over now. They've been going around for about 40 minutes now, I think. Ah. There he is. <laughs> Did you go up on the roof? Yeah, yeah, I've got on the roof. Bit sketchy, innit? Yeah, just a little bit, not miniaturely. It's, I, I, I would go up them ones rather than the ones on the fort, though, definitely. Yeah. Um, at least you've got a wall to, you know. But yeah, I've got up it, no problem. How are you feeling about tonight's investigation? I'm looking forward to it. With the rumours that have been shrouded around it, you know, from the BBC, even. Yeah. I think that it's going to be interesting. Yeah, so the BBC. I don't know, I think they came with some sort of paranormal team or something and there's reports that, um, I don't know, the drones or bombers can be heard, there's an apparition of someone that stands looking out of the window and also um, if you stood out, out on the front there, apparently stones are thrown out and you get hit by them. Have you worked on this out of ledge yet? No, not yet. Just one. just come up now. Just watching that aircraft going in for another touch and go on Waddington. Yeah, Waddington's just through there. Right. You can see the uh, can see navigation the lights on the aircraft when it touches. Yeah. Through the uh, hay bale gap there. And also, apparently, seen in photographs, has been someone stood up here. Right. Uh, when people have taken photographs from the outside towards the control tower, they've yeah. looked later on and and seen someone stood there. Yeah, it'll definitely be interesting. Yeah. I think Kaylee's had a little bit of a, a situation as well, hasn't she? Uh, with a stern. What's that? Uh, the main doorway. 
Yeah. There was a stone on the floor, and she thinks that it mo it's moved. Right. Um, if that's the case, then I think we're in for a good night. Yeah. Um, it was like a piece of thick glass that I showed you. Just ah, like right, yeah. The ground and uh, that moved. So. It was a thick piece of uh, glass that was, well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Somehow, so. maybe that thick. Yeah. Like I'm a glass almost. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll soon see. Definitely. That's, I think that building there is the uh, fire tender shed. And then just past those trees there, there's a uh, pillbox. So, yeah, it's good to see part of the uh, taxiway. Well, not just a part of it, there's a massive chunk of the uh, taxiway that still survives. I think most of the uh, outer taxiway does. Oh, the, sorry, the uh, perimeter track. But yeah, so as I was saying, it's all stripped out, but here's some stairs going up onto the roof. I've already been up twice to get some photos. And for the uh, live stream, if you've seen that. But I'll go up and uh, document it, because I've never been onto um, a roof of one of these before. But you don't want to be touching that uh, banister rail, because it's, it's separated from the uh, main stairs down there. So yeah, it's starting to get dark now, which is good. Well, this is the top. I don't know what the purpose of this add-on was for. Probably just better observation, isn't it? If there's somewhere up on the roof, an office on the roof. There's the uh, fire tender shed. And yeah, that perimeter track goes all the way around. So I believe the runways will have been there somewhere. Big chunk going up through that field there. And it was probably a standard type, the free runways maybe. Mike was driving us here and I was trying to look at my phone, but with his driving it makes you feel sick when you're looking down at your phone. So yeah, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. I know some of you might not be interested in these uh, paranormal videos. Um, it's just an interest that, that me and Mike and Kayleigh share and it's around these World War II military sites, so why not try and document them? Um, I'm not a total believer, and nothing gets faked. So if we capture anything tonight, you will see it in this video. Head back downstairs. Let's just explain on the camera then what's just happened. So yeah, we've uh, just been downstairs. Um, we've got the REM pod set up now, but we had it set up downstairs and we didn't get anything along with the EMF meter. That's right, isn't it? The EMF and um, REM pod. Yeah, we had the EMF meter and the REM pod set up downstairs and we didn't get anything. So we brought it to the top of the stairs now. And um, this is where, I don't know, a ghost or a spirit is meant to be. And then before I started recording, um, that was going off crazy. So I don't know if you want to do some calling out, Mike, and see if we can get a response from it. Can you do that again with the REM pod? Can you touch it? It won't harm you. Don't be shy. Come on, you did it when we first came upstairs. Can you go near it again? and make it go off. Yeah, this reminds me of um, Elvington. It's the same layout. Yeah, because you were seeing a, a, a female walking past. Yeah. Strange about the rempods. So that was the ponds, wasn't it? Yeah. Come on, make the device go off. You don't need to be scared with us. Well, I'm not going to carry on recording if nothing's happening, so I'll be back shortly. Are you shy? So as soon as I stop recording, we start getting responses from the question.
Weird, I was response to Kelly though. So Kat was and he Ask him a question, Kelly. Can you make a noise for us? Come on, go to the device. It's like it's doing it when we're not recording. It's weird, isn't it? Can you see a stud here? Thank you for that. Thank you. That's amazing. Are you got it now? Can you do that again for us, please? Thank you. Can you throw something or make a loud bang? Have you got that? Can I just put that one near it? I'm just going to put the uh, air weapon near it. Near it. Can you make the device go off again for us, please? Go touch it again for us. Go stand near it. None of these devices can hurt you. They just let us know that you're around. Just for the purpose of the video, we've got our phones on uh, flight mode as well, so there's no signals incoming or outgoing from our phones that can interfere with them. I can get the cup for it. And also, so these devices as well, this, the REM pod goes off when you go near it, like that. And you might see it going wild, about 30, 30 40 seconds ago, and that's when you touch it like that, get real close to it, it goes mental. That's where it's reported meant to be at the top of the uh, stairs. Is that right? Can you do that again if that's correct? Thank you. Oh. Hello, by the way, I'm Mike. And I'm Kayla. Why do you introduce myself downstairs? Please don't be scared of us. We mean no harm of us. What? That's his name, Kayleigh. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I thought, really? <laughs> you want my style? Oh, sorry. Wow. So the, the past paranormal, few paranormals that we've done, we've got no response on that at all, have we? That's all. Nothing at all, so that's why we've done, done no videos on the on the investigations, we've done none recently, because we haven't had any responses, and then now it's just going off crazy here. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go near the one with the green lights on it, please? Don't mind me, I'm just... Oh, took it to the green. <laughs> Let's see how it does now with the light on, because normally don't like the light. Yeah, but it seems to be still reacting. Are you a male? Can you go near the device? Can you stop that please? Step away from it. Thank you. Thank you. Did you used to be in the Royal Air Force?
did you use to work in this building in the Royal Air Force? Were you not in the Royal Air Force? Can you go to the device? Strange. Go near the device if you were in. Instantly. And step away from us again, please. Thank you. How many, using that device, tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Tap it on there, corresponding to how many fingers I've got on. Have I got one, two, or three, or four? No. No response that time. Are you still here with us? Can you go back to the device? Strange one. Hmm. Should we try the next one? Still here? I don't think it's the wind now, though. No, it's not the wind. Thank you. What do you ask? Are you still here? Alright. Thank you. Can you step away? Oh, thank you. Can you throw something? Can you throw a stone for this place? I heard something. Did you? I heard like a little stone drop. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Can you drop another stone for us please? I think if we walk the K2 further down, if that if it walks towards us, ask it and if it affects Would you like to walk to us? Walk towards us and tap us on one of the shoulders. Just let us know you're here by tapping on one of our shoulders. Thank you. So we try moving the ramp pod to a different area to see if it goes to it. Oh, into the watchtower area. Yeah, let's go move it into the front there. I'm just getting something. So what we've done is we've left the REM pod in the hallway where you saw it previously. Um, Kaylee heard something in here or in this corridor area. So yeah, Kaylee heard something, she was stood there and me and Mike were over there and um, we've got a name, Louis, on one of the devices Is that your name, Louis? On one of the um, devices we've got the name Louis came through and so that's a possible As you asked to touch the device, this one went off. When Kaylee asked for the device to be touched, this one went off. The one in the corridor is going off. Can you throw something down there? Now we're not watching. Can you throw something for us? Make a loud bang or a loud noise. Is there any of the spirits in this room that want to contact us? That's all we're here for is to contact you. It's just going crazy in there. Come into this room. Is it worth it halfway down that hall? Encourage you to come this way. Can you step away from the device for us, please? Come on, step away from it. Uh, 
Come on. Come through into the front with us. Come and make sure the device go off. Come on. The REM is going crazy, we haven't had that before. Is it worth resetting it just to... Yeah, reset it if you want. Or move move its location. Unless you want to reset it. Just I can't see anything that could be setting it off. There's a red button underneath it, press that and it'll reset it. I'll try moving it slightly. Pop it on there, different area. Can you step away from it for us, please? Thank you. Now come into the front with us. So we're getting some form of intelligent um, questions, aren't we, sir? So some are and then some aren't. People. Yeah. It's not doing it for me, I don't think. No. I... What's that, Mike? So the device in there isn't going off now. So, can you make the device go off again for us, please? And that's it, you're still there. Thank you. And we move the location. That is brilliant. Why were you coming over into the front area and speak to us? Come make the other device go off. So we're gonna try a necrophonic app. Um, if you watch paranormal videos, this uses the magne magnometer in the phone I read about. And this basically is effectively a spirit box behind my laptop. Um, some people are skeptical, some are not. But we like to try it out and see what results we get. So we've had the name Louis coming through. Step away from the device, please. Thank you. Comes through again. Come and talk to us in here now. Hello, is there any spirits here that want to talk to us? Are there any spirits here? Is, is there a Louis here? Just, just said yeah. So I'm just going to try the EMF around in this hallway. Because this is where the spirit or a ghost has been seen. I think that was me that just set that off. I'm wondering why there's a light on the bottom of the stairs there. Where's that light coming from? Could be coming from that bright spot. I know you're setting the other device off, but can you make this green one go off? Here we are with us. Can you go towards the red light then? You don't seem to like this green one. Can you make the red light go off? Go stand near it for us, please. Do you like this being here? No. No. Thank you. Go do it again. Make it go wild. Thank you. Keep doing it for me. What about this one in my hand? Walk a bit further this way and come and touch this device in my hand.
Come on, step away from it then. Come and touch this one in my hand. Why do you like this green light? Okay, can you go back towards the red light then for us? Thank you. Oh, it's doing it on command now. Make the colours change. Make it go to different colours. Make it go to blue and orange. Come on, touch the device. Go stand near it. Did you serve in the RAF? It's unusual. That was possibly me. You don't like you don't like the lights, do you? Step away from it. Thank you. And touch it again. Step away. Can you throw something? Can you throw a stone? I'm just trying to work out if it actually is touching the device or if there's some other something else that could be causing it. Can you touch the device again? Touch the device for me, please. I'll stand near it. It'll go off if you stand near it. Have you left us? Have you gone? Yeah, very strange. We'll get back to you shortly. I don't want to make this video too long for you. How about a female? Touch the device if you're a female. Can you can you pick up a stern and throw it? Down that corridor, preferably, so we can hear it. Are you still with us? Thank you. Can you touch the other machine with the green light? If you're in here still, can you place a stone in the centre of the stairs while we're not looking? Okay. If there's a spirit here, can you go put a stone in the centre of the stairs please, any of the steps? If you can go put a stone there for us. That'd be great. So we're not getting much activity on the REM pod in here, but we are on the stairs. 
and there's no electronics in the building to you be causing it. Let's try it then. Should we go put the rental back under the stairs and see? The reports are that you like to stand at the top of the stairs. So let's see. You didn't want to come into the front. So let's see if you're here. If you're stood here or watching us, can you go over to the device please? Come on, go to the device and touch the device please. So your GoPro turning off? No, I've just turned it on. Filming from above. You ask a question, Kay. Are you still with us? Come and touch the device with the red light on if you're still with us. I noticed that earlier. Yeah. It's when it was on its tripod at the top of the stairs watching the REM pod it did that. Mm. Are you not here with us no more then? You must have gone if you can't make the device go off. Do you want us to go? Would you like us to leave you in peace? Come on, go touch the device for us. Yeah, so what we're going to do is just going to quickly try the Necrophonic app and see if we get anything. Uh, can you tell me your name? Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. He said it free. How many fingers now? Come on, tell me again. I want it nice and clear. How many fingers am I holding up? Okay, can you tell me where we are? Did you say I'm recording? I haven't heard that before. What's it, what do you think it said? It sounds like it said I'm recording. But I don't, it's always hard to really tell until you go back on and listen on the camera later on. So we might have had some good responses, but we don't know until later. Yeah. Let's try it again. Can you say one of our names? Can you say Nick? Come on, say my name, Nick.
Can you tell me your name? Come on, I want to know your name. It sounded like the female said my first name and then the man after said my second yeah, name. I Did you hear that? It did sound like it said my first and yeah. second name. It sounded like it said his full name. Wow. But I've not mentioned my full name. I would have to listen back to that later because it did sound like it. Can you say my full name again? Can you tell me what Mike's doing? Hello? Hello, 20 Spirits. That's it. That's can, can you make this device light up in the background? Make this device light up here. Well, come and touch this device. Here. Here. Okay, I think we're going to go now. Don't leave. Yeah, I think we're going to go. Can you tell, can you say how many people are in this building? How many of us there is? Three. It, that was nice and clear. How did it do it? Straight away. How? I don't know. That is amazing. He's whispering. Can you tell me what colour clothes I'm wearing? What colour's my top? Is your name Louis? I said yes. That was a female one. Yeah, I know it was a female. Yeah. I think we should go to the next uh, farm house in the woods. Yeah. Um, could, was you in the RAF? No. So, who are you then? Who are you? Can you tell me your name? Don't whisper, because I can't hear you. Tell me your name. Jill? Louis? Louis? Can you say how many fingers I'm holding up? Come on, tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. I don't know if that just answered then. Can you answer me again? Okay, well we're going to go now, so I'm going to say bye.
Um, thank you for coming and speaking to us. Yeah, thank you. We've got some very evidence there. Let's us know that you exist. Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye to us. So uh, thank you for watching, um, this was an interesting one, uh, like I said before we've been to three or four places doing a paranormal since we've done them before and we've got no, no response at all have we so we haven't, we haven't put any videos out. No I think we've had some interesting REM pod action, it's been non-stop pretty much for the REM pod, yeah. um, been quite sort of intelligent answers as well haven't mm. it really, you've been asking it to stop and it's stopped. I'm sure it said my full name at one point. Yeah. It did, definitely. I have to listen I'm to that back. my full name. Yeah, so I hope we know that I, I do not know. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, tell us what your thoughts are um, on any of these, um, what the, uh, any part of the video that's made you think, hang on, that's strange, or, you know, yeah. any questions. So please put it down in writing in the comments and let us know what your thoughts are. Yeah, so uh, with that being said, um, thank you for watching and we will see you all again soon. Bye for now. Hello guys, so I think you can agree we caught something uh, quite interesting on this uh, investigation. I just want to talk about the first light anomaly. Before the light anomaly appears, um, three beams of light seem to appear and you can see something manifesting in the corner. Now as you can see on the screen now, we have two blue beams of light and one red. Now in fact these are only present for a few seconds, a, a second or two in the actual video. But I've inserted a freeze frame for you to see them. Um, so yeah, we couldn't see these with our eyes. And um, I can't explain where they came from. It's definitely interesting. And then, yep, so they're on for about a second and then they disappear. Now, before the light anomaly does appear, we get one more beam of light come down. Another blue beam, which should come up any time now. Definitely something manifesting in that corner. And there we go, that's the next blue beam of light. And this is just before the light anomaly appears. Bearing in mind this footage is slowed down and slowed down again. It's super slow at the minute. And then here we go with change. I've changed the um, all the settings so it's darker. Just so you can see the light anomaly a lot better. And I believe the light anomaly comes from the right hand side and comes over into shot. It appears and then it it see I can see I can see an orb floating around at the minute. There's two orbs, then the light anomaly appears and it disappears to the right hand side. There was two orbs there. Um one orb completely disappears, the other one hangs around for a while and then completely disappears into the corner of the stairwell somewhere. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Oh, 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 oh.